Alright, so we're checking out the only game where dead is better. It's Project Hospital. This is one of those games where you can efficiencyize everything to your heart's content and decorate every little nook and cranny, make everyone highly competent and save lives. We're not, we're not doing that. I want to see if I can hire the most incompetent staff possible and get all of my patients killed. I'm not sure how well this game does at like performing surgeries wrong and causing malpractice suits over to the sandbox mode, damn it. <laughs> Well, this is reassuring. I always love it when there's a patience can die option. Yeah, that needs to be on. Unlock all departments, free building, absolutely. You can build your own hospital, like, from the ground up, but honestly, I don't have time for that crap. If it's a choice between a sad little clinic and a big-ass hospital, let's just pick the big-ass hospital and hope we can manage everything. Actually, what do we care about managing anything? Everyone's gonna die anyway. Welcome, everyone, to Sad Bastard Hospital, the place where... <laughs> Like, our, our life's goal right now is to treat one guy. It's just one patient at the moment. This is a big-ass hospital. Yeah. You can see there's multiple levels of insan- Four levels of insanity. Do you know how long it would have taken me to build all this myself? I probably would have eaten my mouse. On the plus side, if you ever want to, there's friggin' prefabs, which is great for a guy like me who can't create anything with any level of symmetry. All right, we gotta get this friggin' show on the road. What the hell is this? Okay. The very first thing that you have to do is start hiring doctors and nurses and whatnot. All right. What level of competency do we have here? Oh, 99%. That's no good. 0%. Perfect. This guy, like, just got out of school. He's 0%. Oh, he's an intern. He's not even gotten that full doctor status. He's also got hidden perks. Extra talent for diagnosis. Damn it, Michael Adams. Ah, whatever. You're the cheapest guy here, so you're hired. Oh, I can't hire this guy because he's not good enough. I need to keep re-rolling until I get people that suck more. God, why is everyone so skilled at being a doctor? Wasn't it always said that, like, what do you call the medical student that got a D minus or something like that? Doctor? 14%. That's not too bad. Maybe we can get him in here. Perfect. Patient care. 0%. Yes. All right, now you need the night shifters. This is this is the people that really screwed up in school. 7%. I like it. You're perfect. I know we can get lower than an 8. 4%. <laughs> you know what? 4%, Frank. You're in. Chief doctor. This, this guy, like, barely has the ability. Oh, wait. Can I make her the chief doctor? How? This is our chief doctor sitting at her desk playing solitaire on company hours. <laughs> All right, supposedly I need at least, like, one regular general medicine doctor. 20%. Eh, come on. 0%. Yes. <laughs> the hospital now accepts patients. Oh, these poor bastards. Uninsured. Yeah, that's about the level of treatment you're going to be getting at this hospital. All right, next up, we got to open up radiology. We're going to have to open up all these so we can kill as many people as possible. Apparently, radiology is on floor two. 2% radiology looks appropriate to me. Hospitalization. This is where you want your best trained and, uh, and, and nicest staff. All right, we've got an 8%. I think we can probably do better than that. I guess my definition of better is different from everyone else's, since better for me is like the worst possible skill rating. I'm not going to lie, I'm spending a lot of money looking for the worst medical degenerate there is. 6%. There we go. Patient care, 1%. How did you even get here? All right, madam, 6%. You're the head doctor. Neurology, 0%. Perfect. Cardiology, 0%. Excellent. Oh, this is important. Finding the worst surgeons you can get. 6% is pretty good. You're going to start us off. I think that the average skill level right now for my general surgery nurses is about 7%. 3% operative surgery. That's what I need. Set up value of certainty, which will be used to confirm diagnosis. Low. <laughs> Get that Is there a none? Oh, there's just low. All right, we'll keep it at low. <laughs> I, I need to put all these at low. Hold on. There we go. Perfect. Oh, besides cheapo care, we're accepting abdomagut. I just want to show you guys that I'm keeping the same level of standard up for all my hirees. Patient care, 0%. Okay, everything's set up. I even got a neurosurgeon with a 0% neurosurgery. I'm pretty happy about that. Let's start killing people. We can take all the insurance now. Brainy care, overcure, quick snap care. Jesus. Department dress code for neurology. All the doctors have to wear black because they're going to be going to a lot of funerals. What the hell are these? Events. Crash. Epidemic. 
Natural disaster. What happens if I click on one of these? Oh, sweet Jesus, I didn't know it was gonna happen this way. A significant earthquake has hit the region and has caused major damage to property as well as causing a large number of injuries. Everyone's pretty screwed. I find it somewhat interesting that in this giant crash, everyone is just walking in. Like, they're all just coming in themselves. You would figure people would be in on stretchers and stuff like that. That's right, everyone, just have a seat. The staff will be with you eventually, unless you bleed out before then. All right, the doctors are finally coming in after a night of drinking together and whatnot. Oh my god, the one doctor has like 30 patients she has to deal with. Yeah, go ahead and tell me what hurts, Daniel Hernandez. Well, I got hit by a piece of falling concrete. It crushed most of my lungs. I'm in a lot of pain, and I feel like I want to die. Okay, and on a scale of 1 to 10, what's your pain like? Go ahead and take off your shirt. This guy's like, yeah, imagine a, uh, like a hot poker that went inside of a blender and then the blender is inside of a microwave and the microwave is on top of a lawnmower and that's inside of my sternum. That's basically what's happening. Broken ribs. Good. That's what I like to see. All right, hold on. I'm taking control of this. I don't even care. We're going to say it's broken ribs and um, you get an ice wrap and that's all you get. Patient is collapsing. Your staff will do their best to keep them alive. Please tell me where this is. HD with heart failure. Jesus, run my good man. Pick this lady up. Stretch her? No, no, no. Just grab her by the throat and bring her over to the neck. Are you gonna like do anything? Or are you just gonna kind of like look at her? Oh, is she turning white? Or is that just because I was hovering over her? There's the stretcher. All right, yeah, just go ahead and levitate the stretcher right through the wall. Get the old body bag prepared. Let's go ahead and follow this lady. Susan King is probably not gonna make it. This is the slowest elevator in the history of the universe. This lady is gonna die because of how slow the elevator is. Who the hell are you? What, are you going to get something from the vending machine? We've got legitimate heart failure going on here. All right, here we go. They're working on her. What's your, what's your skill level? 7%. <laughs> how about the doctor? Hold on. 5% general medicine and a 4% diagnosis. Oh, I can't wait to see if this lady survives. All right, palpitations, back pain, nausea, breathing problems, dizziness, fatigue. She does have insurance, though. So, hey, how about that? Only $4,400 so far. Sarah Baker's the head doctor. Her surgery ability is a 4%. All right, active treatment, say TC hospitalization. Bullcrap. We're doing cardiovascular surgery because I decide. Sarah Baker needs a lot of uh, practice practice to get her surgery up. So what better day to practice than right now on a girl that's dying from heart failure? Just wheel her right through the right through the reception area. Sarah Baker right now is rolling one up and trying what the holy hell? Okay, cool. Is rolling one up right now to try and calm herself down. How is this lady alive? Oh, I guess she's just waiting. Nancy Cole performing cardiovascular surgery. She is about damn time. <laughs> this lady's been transferred on more stretchers than, than, than like anything I've ever seen. There is no clear diagnosis. Uh, okay. I really don't care. Welcome everyone to surgery. The place where people come to die. Nancy Cole having a glorious 2% patient care, will be assisting in today's surgery. Brick Jones with 6% medical <laughs> surgery will be handling the rest. Oh my God, what the hell happened over here? Why is there so much blood? What did you guys do? Oh my God, it's an eye surgery. This lady's still alive, right? Like, is this the insurance adjuster coming in right now? You guys gonna clean that up? I don't think I ever hired a janitor. Um... So yeah, all right, the team of crack shot professionals is coming in right now. You're gonna see levels of skill you don't even know about in here. 2% anesthesiology, 4% cardio surgery, 8% cardiology, and a glorious 6% medical surgery. The best team that money cannot buy. All right, they're going in probably a little bit low for the heart, but let's, let's, let's give her a break. She's got like an 8%. All right, right over here, we're gonna grab the steak tongs and uh, start pulling apart the skin so that we can see the uh, blood pumper majigger in there. Yep, okay, a little bit of blood spray all over the ground. Probably got into, uh, probably got into our lady's eyes. This other dude up here is still bleeding in his bed. I don't even know, like I said, I don't know if he's going to the, to the morgue or if he's just going to rest. This guy's like, don't worry, Susan, you're gonna be fine. And she's like, should I be asleep for this? And he's like, listen, I got a 2% anesthesiology, give me a break. Uh, everyone's walking away, so... 
I'm gonna assume that the that the surgery was a success. Yeah, just go ahead and wash the blood of the damned off of your hands, everyone. That lady's blood is on your hands. You're gonna be fine. The numbness in the bottom half of your body is completely normal. How can I put together a team of the worst failures mankind has? That is a lot of blood, Jesus. Is she bleeding? <laughs> She's bleeding while they're taking her away. This lady is spraying blood everywhere. Isn't part of the surgery to close up the wounds? Oh, who am I talking to? I forgot about two to eight percent here. Oh, we got another surgery going on over here. Uh, Linda Barkley performing pulmonary surgery. 13% anesthesiology, a 7% in internal medicine, 3% in patient care, 9% in medical surgery. God, it's like a friggin' zombie film. There's just... There's just blood everywhere. These are lovely bathrooms. What happens if you destroy the walls? Just getting rid of the doors. Here we go. People can see you urinating. There's nothing to stop them from staring at you. The hell's going on over here? Dude, just rip this lady's top off. Oh, it's Susan King. She's still with us. Can you imagine? going into this hospital. This is like the resting room. You know what I mean? It's got a little, look at it. It's got a little uh, radio over here, like a TV, a little desk and a lamp, and about 60 gallons of blood all over the floor. This lady has a rash. Hmm. No clear diagnosis, huh? It's all right. Old Gray will take care of that. Uh, we're going to call this whatever this is. That one sounds good. And just so that we can make as much money, we're going to give you some hospitalization and some steroid cream. Can't diagnose a patient. It's all right. We'll take care of this. Which one's worth the most amount of money? Congratulations. You have dilated that. A contusion or a fracture, huh? Going with the fracture. Monitored patient is collapsing. It's about time, Susan. I can't believe it took this long. Performing first aid. Let's see how well they do. Judy King. Susan King, are you two related? The employee got drunk last night and won't feel too good today. Oh my God, I was kidding about that. It's so good to see it actually happens. We don't have a lot of blood on this floor. So let's see if we can remedy that. God, Susan's on friggin' oxygen right now. I'm kind of surprised that Susan's satisfaction level is like past the halfway point considering how poor her entire stay here has been. You were not able to complete the event or one of your patients died or was transported away. Yeah, that's how it goes to this hospital. All right, new event, crash. Two football clubs have clashed and the brawl resulted in a large number of injuries. Yes. All right, it's surgery time. There's stool collections and everything gonna be happening too. But for right now, this poor at he's a 51 year old athlete. Wow. He's vomiting summer sausages. He's got jaundice, unnecessary surgery. The surgeons haven't found the expected symptoms during surgery. The patient was most likely misdiagnosed. <laughs> Another collapsing patient. Wouldn't you know, I'm just gonna say it's this. Oh, they're doing defibrillation on her? How good are the people doing defibrillation? 9%, 7%. I like how this goes from like zero to 100. You got like chest pain, fatigue, and then heart failure. I'm gonna give her no diagnosis and just see what happens. Great, we got another collapsey. What happens if I player control and I just decide not to do anything for this guy? 50-50, uh, let's go with this one favorite patient is collapsing. Poor guy's going down yet again. Can't diagnose. We'll call it a spiral fracture, but don't help him. Another drunk employee. We're gonna do a leg cast on you because I decided it. This guy's going down a third time. What does it take to kill this guy? He's a tough old bastard. Patient died. The patient's condition was critical, and despite your doctor's best efforts, they could not be saved. Would a more efficient hospital handle this case better? Yeah, yeah, it would. His satisfaction is still three and a half stars, though. He had a rough night. Yeah, no kidding. Well, it took quite a while, but Hospital Bloodbath will live up to its name. Hey, folks, hope you enjoyed Project Hospital, where we let everyone die. Until the next time, folks, and got medical mill practice suits. Stay foxy and much love.